Yeah. See, you can, you can, you could be a Christian hip hop artist and not even be Christian and get away with it. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then we'll find out later when you tell us that you're not Christian no more mm. that you may not have even ever Never. been. Yeah. Screw that, they know, let them have it, do it. Okay, I'm around and prove it. Never mind, got a mind that'll wind up with me in a lineup behind bars with these bars. Okay, my time. Are right, you in the field with the track stars? Ryan Wright, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. Got your fire life in the yeah, building. How you yeah, doing, sir? yeah, I'm What's good, up? man. I'm here with y'all, man. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, gee, your fire life. Come on, man. You're far too kind. Now, are you? Are you <laughs> I feel. I feel like you're you're lying to us. Do you really like us? I do, man. Yeah, like man. that. Yeah. That means a lot to us, man. Really, 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 really. Yeah, you're a legend, man. Yeah. Thank you, man. Y'all on y'all way. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't there, even think y'all knew who I was. <laughs> oh yes, come on, man. Yes, man. Fountain of life. That's dope, man. The Healing LP. That's dope, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it, man. man you a spitter, yeah. man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, man. I love what y'all doing on this platform, man. It's needed. Oh, man, thanks. It's needed, man. man. A, a balanced perspective. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's dope. It's so, dope. so, so, we would love to see you in a topic, right? You know what I'm saying? Whatever y'all want to talk about. Dude, on you got to come to Atlanta. Yeah. I follow him on Facebook. Yeah, his topics be fire. Like, <laughs> it be like ding ding. That's ding, like ding, the ding. only social media platform I'm really on. Really? Yeah, like, yeah. I, I mean, I'm on all the rest of them, but I only engage, engage super heavy that with that yeah. for yeah. some reason. I don't know why I love Facebook. What yeah. were some of the topics you talked about recently? Man, oh uh, wow. Um, the relationship talk. But yeah, yeah. Always yeah. relationship. Like, that's man, our bread and butter. <laughs> being single and Christian. Um, you know, um, music, of course. Um, perspectives on you know what what Christian music even is. Yeah, um, you know that's where like I want to get man. with you. Okay, I want to know what you, you think about what's happening in Christian hip hop right now. Yeah, um, so I feel like it's dope. I feel like it's more of a balance. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. now you know yeah. what I'm saying. Um, but because I've always had like you know. I think I, I understand some things about Christian hip hop, but there's things I don't really understand. Okay. Because um, you know people will lump me in with it, mm -hmm. and when I say I don't do it, they either a think I'm trying to follow the cray in them, yeah, or I'm just trying to diss them, yeah. And I'm just trying to just say no, I just know my lane, you yeah. know what I mean? And I think that um, for a long time. Christians, we've only had one context for Christians who rap. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's, it's always been like, oh, like if I meet somebody in the street and I tell them I'm a Christian and they say they're a Christian and I tell them I rap, they'll say, oh, well, how long you been doing Christian hip hop? Mm -hmm. It's just an already assumed yeah. thing yeah. that yeah. you're yeah. doing. And I think that's because, A, um, for a long time, the church has miseducated us on the definition of the word secular. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, secular has been in the church. If you let the church tell it, secular is a synonym for evil. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's a much more nuanced definition if we really talk about it. Let's talk you know about it. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I want, I want, want to know what you think. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you know, it's I'm I'm actually um, you know, I'm gonna shoot shoot the Christian industry some bail with this um, project I'm working on. Um, I'm working on a documentary. You oh, know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. So um, I think that I've been trying to explain it, uh -huh. but I think the best way for me to explain it is to really show them as okay. opposed to tell them. That's good. So the mm -hmm. documentary is going to be, I'm, I'm going to take it back prior to Christian hip hop, and I'm going to take it to the source of um, black gospel music in a black church. Oh, You know man. what I'm saying? That's so, deep. So um, my mother, she's a gospel musician. Like she's kind of known throughout the city of Philly. She plays piano, sings. Okay. Um, she's trained people to sing and you know stuff like that. So I always had that in my DNA. Yeah. So I was raised in it. You know what I'm saying? And then my dad is a Bible teacher. So I always had like my mom with a piano and my dad with a with a library in the crib in the hood. We had yeah. a piano in the hood. You know wow. what I'm saying? Wow. You know what I mean? So yeah. I've, I've had like a balanced understanding of what the church is, what gospel music is, what how Christians can approach art. And then it really blew my mind when I found out certain artists were Christians who I didn't know were Christians. Mm -hmm. Like Bach, I didn't know he was a believer. Oh. Like a lot of his music lends itself to his faith. Wow. Um, Rembrandt. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know I what I'm saying? Um, C.S. Lewis. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? His his homie, J.R. Tolkien, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They used to they used to be in London, um, I think it's London, um, in the UK, in a, in, a, in a pub, you know, have beers and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and show each other 
each other's notes for their sermons. Wow. And they would say, what do you think about this? Wow. All right, let me see yours. What do you think about this? Another round, please. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And, and there was nothing ungodly about what they yeah, were doing. Yeah. That was just the custom and the culture. Mm -hmm. So I think that, like, you know, Christian culture gets really confusing. And I feel like I want to, I kind of want to dedicate this new, the second phase of Jafia life mm -hmm. to new artists to the next Jafia lives. Yeah. Mm. Like, like, you know what I mean? Because I'm telling y'all, it's a wave of them coming. Okay. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And I just feel like they reaching out to me. Let's build. That's and that's they, and, they, and they in wow. Philly or are they like Everywhere. just in general? In general. Oh, wow. It's, mm. a dude, it's a dude, y'all got to check him out um, from Tampa, actually. His name is Jay Parker. Okay. Jay Parker. Yeah, he's real dope. Real okay. dope. Another dude named um, Travis Nunn. Okay. Oh, you heard dope, of Travis Nunn. So. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, real yeah. dope. He's real dope. Yeah. yeah, man. Tell us about man. I know we were just we were just talking about talking about a deal. You, I remember your deal and your process coming from like um, I forgot the name of the label that you was on that, and then transitioning to like Beat Mart from mm -hmm. back in the days, and mm -hmm. like that even being like a Warner Brothers situation. Like it was so it was so reminiscent when he was yeah, Stephen Malcolm yeah. was sitting there talking because my second deal came out of Nashville. Yeah, mm -hmm. like people thought I was signed to Toby Mac. Yeah, because I was I was with him like when we was in Nashville, like the goatee staff would pick me up. Wow, you know what I'm saying? So they thought I was signing the goatee. Wow, but Ty Collins was was trying. He was courting me, but he had so for the people who don't know, Ty Collins is he's a producer who co-founded and started Goatee Records with Toby Mac and Joey Elwood. Mm -hmm. So he sold his portion of, of Goatee to EMI and started a new label called Beat Mart. And yeah. I was his mm -hmm. first artist that he signed. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But how he found out about me was through my hip, my album, my first project that came out on vinyl. And hmm. when MF Doom was my label mate. Oh, mm -hmm. snap. You know what I'm saying? So that was, that, was, that was my inception. The only thing about that label was that was Christian was that I was on it. Wow. wow. Yeah, it was no yeah. other, I didn't have any Christian label mates. Like my first album was a hip hop album. Wow. It wasn't a CHH album. And then the crazy part is, what gets real tricky is, A, a lot of artists in CHH, their first album, which is fine, by the way, but their first album is often, first songs and album is Christian hip hop songs. Yeah. My first music for retail release was hip hop, mm. but I was very much Christian. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's a different context. You know what I mean? So I think that. Me, me, kind of explaining that is a, is a, is is very helpful for people it who is. may think that when I say I don't do Christian hip hop, that I'm trying to diss Christian hip hop. Right, right, right. You know right. what I mean? Because I think a lot of times it it come it could come off like that if you mm. don't explain it. Wow. Wait a minute, um, real, real quick, can you tell people like because I think. Like uh, we I do, just skipped your whole. I'm, I know, I no, no, you good, you good, you good, you good. Forget that. No, please. no, you good. Like I think the thing is like because sometimes we talk about OGs in Christian hip hop, yeah, yeah. and I don't think like I think for some people their OGs Lecrae, and yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they don't know like Lecrae was here, but it was other people that was putting it down, got deals and everything like that. Yeah. So how do we get those people to know about you guys? You like the grits, the T bones, yeah. the. Cross um, and all these other people. I think the gatekeepers of CHH have to inform them. Mm -hmm. I mean, because if you leave it to us, I mean, who knows if they'll do it. <laughs> yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? yeah, yeah. Um, and I think that, you know, just, I was telling somebody just like having CHH artists affirm artists that are on my side, so to speak, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we all know, like, if you're a fan of some, if you got a fan and, you know, whoever their favorite artist is, they affirm what they affirm. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? So yeah. it's like if if CHH artists aren't affirming artists who are Christians who say they don't do CHH, it stays the same. Yeah. Like if if you if you draw a line in the sand, it has to be a loving line in the sand. Yeah, 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 yeah. It can't just be a line of division and then say we need unity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you drew a line in the sand. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And until until um, you know, that's highlighted, I think nothing to change. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. You know, but Matt, you got I, I could tell you should be on the show. So <laughs> man, listen, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get to it. Yeah, yeah you gotta come, come to Atlanta, Atlanta man. Yeah. yeah Cause yeah, when we definitely. get busy on these topics, man, I know you could go with it. I could. I really could. But yeah, <laughs> um but just in closing, I guess um yeah, Nashville was dope, man. I think that um 
I'm I'm a really I really want to talk to him though. Yeah. I really want to talk to him just okay. just to let him know I'm here. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you got any questions, like I was around all of it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. From the top to the bottom, I was around it. Yes, sir. Okay. In in that world, so just I, I really have a heart for artists like him. This kind of going into yeah. that, what yeah. I was in in a part yeah. of. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Definitely. make that bridge, man. What's Definitely. some wisdom that you would leave us with to encourage the the up and comers? Like, what is something that you would say? You know what? Here's rule number one of what you should shouldn't be doing. Um, I would say, just 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 come back away from the music and just study your faith. Yeah. First, okay. you know what I'm saying? Because you got a lot of artists. See, you can you can you could be a Christian hip hop artist and not even be Christian and get away with it. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then we'll find out later when you tell us that you're not Christian no more mm. that you may not have even ever Never been, been yeah. Yeah. Christian. Yeah. So I think that. It's important for us to do that, study your faith, and then once you study your faith, just know your lane. Like know your lane because this lane, this this ain't for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. what I love about CHH is like how 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 ministry driven it is. Mm -hmm. I feel like my music is ministry too, but I think my my subject matter range is so wide that it could be it could be confusing but i think when you put that label on just know what that label stands for yeah yeah, yeah. and i'm saying and respect it and affirm it you know i think that artists on my side too need to be very clear that we affirm chh a mm -hmm. lot of times you hear dudes say they don't do christian hip-hop but they don't affirm christian hip-hop right, yeah. right it seems right, like right, they yeah. try to kind of this Christian hip hop. Yeah. And I think that you can say you don't do Christian hip hop or not do Christian hip hop and still affirm mm -hmm. Christian hip hop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so just study your faith and study your lane. And I think that, you know, that's awesome. Bring people around you that can help you with the rest. So, give them your socials, man, so they can follow you. Yeah, so it's all at Jafia Life um, on every platform. Holla at me, I'll holla back. Um, check out the new album that's coming. I think it's going to be. Um, you know, something that my fans will really appreciate um, if I know anything about my fans. Um, look out for the documentary. I'm doing a book, too. Um, and I may have a TV show in the works with a cable network. So okay. I'm, I'm trying to... Oh. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, really, really help out, not just with music. That's yeah. awesome, man. That's great. I'm looking forward to that, man. Dope, man. Yeah. Dope, man. Thank All right, you, thanks man. for hanging out, man. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. see y'all in the A. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's what's yeah. up. That's a bet. Well, You're in the field with yeah, the track yeah. stars, Ryan Wright, to Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. Yeah. Let go! Hey, guys. Miracle here. Thank you so much for watching that episode. Make sure you go below, like it, subscribe, click the bell, and make sure you follow us on all forms of our social media. Also, check out our website and be sure you spread the word. We'll see you next time. We know not what we doing. Screw that, they know, let them have it, do it. Okay, I'm around and prove it. Never mind, got a mind that'll wind up with me in a lineup behind bars with these bars. Okay, my time. Uh, team Freedom. Yeah. We not through yet. All right. Track Stars Music presents. Turn my volume up. Turn me off.